Okay, we are um, in the, the belly of the beast, financial district in the Embarcadero, and uh, this is um, Thursday, October, what? Today. October 6th. Thank Thursday, you. October 6th. Uh, Thursday, October 6th. I lost that for a minute. And uh, this is Scud, and he's with Occupy San Francisco that just met across the street uh, for their um, General Assembly meeting. Yep. And there was some a little bit of police brutality uh, against Occupy San Francisco camp. So Scud is an eyewitness, and he's going to describe what happened this morning. Take it away, Scud. This morning? Oh, all right. Or, or yeah, whenever well, it happened. Yeah. Well, yeah, it pretty much that. was the morning. Um, it was it really, very early in the morning. It was very early in the morning. We got a police note, and this is after dealing with a bunch of just bullshit. I'm a lot of curse because this is going on YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. All right. I, I don't think the, uh, the parents are going to let their kids watch all this. All right. There's a, a bunch of crap that's going on. Bullshit is going internally. on. Internally. <laughs> Already. Because how do these things happen? We've been warned. First, the uh, suburbs are placed in. Then the media decides to react after a two-week blacklisting. Okay. Well, anyways, so to talk about what happened. Morning? What happened this morning was at 10 a at 10 p.m. last night, we got a notice, and it was San, while San Francisco, while the city and county of San Francisco um, recognizes and celebrates your uh, ability to uh, you know do your First Amendment thing, you know, to practice your rights. However, uh, because of these reasons and this occupation in front of the Federal Reserve is is illegal an illegal encampment. List of reasons like health, like having open flame and gas and everything because we had a few gas and propane stoves. Because we were and, cooking food for people. Yeah, we were cooking food with for people. donated food And the, the kitchen, might I say, with all this committee infighting and, and these, it really focuses around the finance, which I never thought there should have been a finance committee. What the hell are we doing over here? Um, <laughs> yeah, really, kitchen was tight. In fact, I used to drink with the cook who came in and I even asked him, dude, and while I said to him, dude, thanks for letting me use your tent and thanks for being here what does it say hey bro i like doing this it's fun and i'm like exactly okay so what happened what happened was we got, got a, this notification yeah, yeah, you know health blah 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 and, from, blah. and it also sit lie ordinance which is a city ordinance i might add yes. our right to do this is a federal fucking right not only that the city ordinance says no sitting or lying on a sidewalk between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. Exactly. And after that, you can. Exactly. And they, and they decided to roll before 7 a.m. in the morning. Did yes. they not? And they did okay. it at night because they didn't. They didn't want to be unsightly. And the truth was, this notice from the police department, which wasn't signed, wasn't sealed, wasn't didn't have a seal, wasn't dated, didn't, didn't, look didn't have official. a stamp, didn't look could official. have been made on word for Christ's sakes. Yes. What, what did I? What did I do? I held it up and made sure that the uh, not just the, not just the uh, industry media, but the privateers and live streamers and independents. And I explained to them. They told us one day we could have tents. Then they're doing this stuff. They want us to facilitate things, making sure there's cabby egresses in the places we're occupying, tightening things up. They told us that if we took the tents down after we send liaisons to talk to the crew, that was all gearing up and everything. And by the way, it was playing intimidation by taking forever at doing this. By the way, the they is SFPD. Yes, SFPD. You know, uh, is- they, 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 their, their numbers would constantly fluctuate. It's like, all right, now there's 40 of them. And people would get, and you, people started meditating. This is where the infighting dissolved. Okay, okay. What did the SFPD do then? The SFPD, after telling us if we took, if we took the structures down, removed the tents and tightened it up, that we were fine. And you could stay. And we could stay. So then what did they do? Then they marched on us. How Broke many? How many? Their trust. About a uh, hundred of them. In what Marched form? on us. Uh, in what form? In riot gear. Walking. Walking. Marching. Around our gear. And then they just started tearing it apart. So we got some stuff and got it out of there. I personally don't care. Okay, this- now, so they started, as I understand, throwing your stuff in the Department of Public Works yes. vans. Yes. I was told that they bada got bing, the bing. DPW people to do it for them. Yes, exactly. And they created a barrier and all the rest of it while we just watched and just gave them jail therapy, gave them social therapy. What, what, in what form? In what form? You like what you're doing? 
questioning them, questioning their ability, just like they were questioning our ability to even exist. Okay, so you were peaceful. Some you of them even bought verbal. back tears. I heard that. Some of them even bought back tears because we had people who really knew how to dig into them and how to say, uh, when do you start questioning morality? When do you start doing this? Yeah. And so many, there were a few, not so many, there were a few of them that were literally fighting back tears. And the truth is, after this happened and what happened this morning when they came back again, and one of my personal friends, or in fact, Road Brothers, got one of them to... Woo! Tear. Down the side. A a woman... Woman cop. Woman cop because they have empathy. Men... They just have greedy desires. So do you? And that's uh, not all men. <laughs> no, of course not. Do you? Do you? What do you think then? You had some cops with empathy. Who are the ones without? Where did they suddenly oh, come from? Oh, like uh, Sakwa, who actually punched a girl in the face and threw her to the ground. Tell me about that. Tell did you, you about see that. that? Did because you see what it? happened was when they were decided that they were done loading all our stuff, tearing it apart. Food, water, medical supplies. Our medics couldn't even do something if we got hurt at this point. What do we do? Chain around. And one of them, one of the banjo players, put something down. Boom! Sitting in right in front of the tire on the first car. So we formed a human chain, and we were letting them know that this was wrong, the chance were going on and everything, and we stood in solidarity. We even had people from Oakland and Berkeley join us. Yeah, I heard that. And we had a good presence. And what happened? About how many of you? Oh, we must have about... We must have had at least almost 200, maybe 150, okay, somewhere Okay, now, did there. you, a uh, human chain, did you encircle something? We encircled. What did you do with the We started chain? by encircling. Oh, no, no, the meditators are already active at this point. Once they started marching, everyone was like, into gear. Into gear. So what Let did- them know. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Didn't want to talk. Just wanted to come in and rip everything apart. Okay, so destroyed. what did you do with the human chain? With the human chain, we started in front. Then when we realized, uh-oh, they're going to try and back out. A bunch of us, including me, went to the rear where there was less people, where there was more motion and more things going on in the front. But we had good communication networks. We were acting as a communal organism at this point. And okay. we knew that this was going to get serious. But we had to keep up with it. And what really breaks my heart is we kind of did push out because we really didn't want to get our heads bashed in. But once we knew that we had 10,000 hits and showed them what we were doing, we realized we didn't have to take that hit. You know why? Because all we got to do is remind people, this is how autocracy is. Yes. This is what a police state looks like. I didn't want to take a hit for that, even though a couple of people did. But we formed chains and we made them have to push us back. They did make contact, even with me throwing me out of the way and things like that. Grabbed it, you and pulled you. <laughs> they grabbed me and flung me. Okay. But because I am kind of adept physically, I could keep my balance and catch my footing. Yeah. So it was no big deal. But and they, I, what did they do with this uh, young girl? With this young... Well, first of all... Did when you see deep, it? Yes, I saw it. Okay. Ding! Boom! Right to the ground. <laughs> ah! Pushed her. Pushed her to the ground. Fell like, on her face? Uh, fell on her, it was her knee, she just went, and then kind of caught her head a little bit too, and it was just ridiculous. One of the other boys, BJ, who I'm just going to say, um, even, he was the one who kept getting in front of them. Every time they tried to move a truck, they would break up the people from where the truck previously was, but there were still people in there where they couldn't break them up, because the way they were breaking them up, we were making sure that we were really spreading them thin. So we kept getting in front of the trucks, and this dude, and a few others, even including myself, would sit down in front of them, lie down in front of them, wait for the cop numbers to regain where they are, because they're so well-coordinated at doing this. Oh, surprise, surprise, this is what they do best, is beat up on people standing up for their rights. Yeah. Okay. What what about the there was somebody else, a guy who got knocked down and punched. Yes. Did you there see was, that? Uh knocked down, punched and arrested. Did you see that? Yes, I I saw I saw him when they had him on the ground, knee on the freaking back and everything, grinding his face into the concrete. We have Did the you NL- see the cop grinding his face yes. into the concrete? Yes. Okay. All right. So somebody apparently caught that on video. Um, well, what would we also you caught, identify the cop's face? If you saw the cop again, would you know uh, the 
Uh, po- not really, but there are. Uh, there were eyes everywhere, and this was a live stream. Once again, we had 10,000 hits immediately. We had people from Berkeley and Oakland coming across the bay to help out. It was okay. a beautiful thing. We showed solidarity, and people in New York and a lot of other Occupy cities saw this going on, and it was beautiful. And that's not the only thing, but BJ, the one who likes to lay down and do that, and they just pick him up and drag him and toss him to the side, he actually got to the point where he caught a DBW where they couldn't stop in time and what I don't understand what what was that got down in front of the thing and hit the bump the bumper hit his forehead with enough force to knock him back and cause him to fall back the DBW moving vehicle yes and we got that too oh my god yeah okay all right now um briefly what's gonna happen now just briefly what's gonna happen now What is happening now? These people may not want to hear about internal things because we've got more pressing issues going on. Uh, The reason why there's so many people here now is because people are beginning to cover this because of privateers, because of uh, because of pirates, because of independence, which I love. So you're saying that um, the general assemblies have been well attended by the media? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Um, by the privateers, yes. Well, after after about privateers, I'm not sure people are independence know what people you mean. like you who are not part of like CBS or Seven or right. NBC or anything right. like that. Yeah, the sold out um, corporate who, media. Yes, the sold out corporate media who yeah. I don't want. They are not essential. People don't need to be fed mainstream media to realize whether or not they want to get proactive about something. So it's in other a, words, these privateers are you know, the independent people are that, stru- starting to them. make starting yes. to make everybody aware yes. of what's going on. Not only that, okay. they're letting people know this is what the news is doing. Out of uh, about an hour and a half of interviews of me flying the notice and a bunch of other people talking about why we're doing this, even including the lawyers that came in and stood in solidarity with us from the NLG, the National Lawyers the Guild. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. What gets aired? Oh, and now the police are rounding up the protesters. Next plot. Okay. What's next on the news? Yep. Okay, we gotta stop. We got a lot. This is Scud. He is one of the most articulate occupiers I've ever met. And that is an eyewitness account of exactly what happened. Yeah.